Hi gang, Jim Sterling here, and I've got a long box of tat to show you. I'm at the dirty table where I would normally be doing the hit, the really hit, super popular Boglin Watch, which is a show I do about Boglins, and literally everybody watches it. It's very, very popular. But today we're talking about something that's a little less known little less well known than Boglins. We're talking about Undertale and this is the Undertale Little Buddies series which I ordered about a thousand years ago because I felt like the lectern that I use on the other hit show I do, The Jimquisition, um, I felt I could do with some new stuff on it. So I got this, waited for it forever. I'm an old man now with old broken bones but it's arrived so I figured i got nothing to do this afternoon, I might as well do an unboxing. Those are popular on YouTube, aren't they? Yes, let's, let's do that. First thing to note is that this is the package it's shipped in, uh, and it's got nice logo and imagery printed on it, which is nice. Not a lot of companies do that, but when they do, it's always a fun treat. It's like you're, even the box is having a bit of a giggle, but we didn't buy a box, did we? We bought little buddies which are basically you know little figures and shit so we're gonna undo this now gonna very carefully surgically open this up okay it's very important that we are very careful and we don't cut into our arteries and bleed to death on camera which to be honest would get a lot more views but there'd be no one around to upload it so it would be a waste of time okay there we are surgically opened let's get the actual box shall we uh, uh, uh. right there we are I'm gonna just pop this down there oh, there's a little thing oh, it's just a little square of cardboard you get a free square of cardboard if you buy these from, what's it, Fangamer? Yeah, Fangamer.com, says on the bottom. Uh, by the way, I did buy these. This isn't promotional or anything. Uh, this is just something I bought and then I'm doing a video on because, like I said, I've got fuck all to do this afternoon. But anyway, free cardboard. What a bargain, huh? All right, shove that down there. This is bagged up, so again, gonna use Mr. Cutty Knife and just very carefully, almost like you're murdering someone you go in up and out okay you never go across the throat it goes in up out you want to pull pull the jugular out not that I am recommending any <laughs> I was joking about murder it was that that fits more in the Boglin watch show I do where that is a this this is me as normal Jim Sterling supposedly I say that while I'm wearing black gloves with a knife telling you how to kill people. I don't actually know how to kill people. Uh, I don't even know if that's correct, what I just said. I just vaguely remember something from the UK office about pulling the knife. Anyway, that's that's besides the point. Let's, let's get this plastic baggage off, shall we? There we go. There we go. Everyone's happy. It's all good. Put that down there for now. So that's the package. Undertale. Series 1, there we are, yeah it's in camera, Series 1, vinyl figurines, complete set. It's a complete set, it's not blind box like those mini boglins that screwed me over. So there's one, two, three, four, five figures. One, two, three, four, five. So that's good. Should we open it up and have a look at them in greater detail, one by one? Yes. Yes we shall, yes. Yes. Good bit of tape here, just sliding it in under, tiny little, you, you don't even have to go across the whole thing, just you get even less than halfway through and the cellar tape just pops, just pop like that, and that should be enough, there we go, there we go, it's all fine, it's all good, there we are, cram that in, two fingers in, deep, like that, oh that's good, I like that, yeah you Okay, here we are. Right, so what do we got here? There's some assembly requirements here. The uh, stands 
are not attached to the figures. So that's something to watch out for. These are protected with an extra layer of plastic sheathing. Very good. I really should be doing this the other way around. I'm doing this for my edification here at the moment when it should be for your edification. Put it that way around. So I've taken off the sheath. They are. I don't really need to re-demonstrate that. And let's pop some things out, shall we? Need to push behind the plastic there. Come here. And... Ah! No! Right. That's one. Done. That's one done. Good. I'll do all of these. You don't have to watch me do that. And here we are, assembled for your pleasure. We have Toriel. Let's have a look at them one by one, I suppose. Do a little sort of review, maybe. Um, I don't really know how to review toys. I think I tried it once for Tomo Pop. Like once. Some alien thing, I think. I don't know. Anyway. Here we are. Toriel. There you go. Not bad quality, yeah, nice detail, nice detail, nice colour. They've captured each character well, I think, from a pose perspective, facial expressions and whatnot. Got our join lines here, but they're not too obvious. Back of the head, not a bad job at all, quite like it. Quite a handsome, handsome little figure there. And with the stand and everything, it stands up. It's got a nice little bit of detail on the bottom. Got the name, Toriel, Undertale logo. And then Fan Gamer and Happy Worker and 2016 Toby Fox All Rights Reserved. Made in China. Guangdong, to be precise. And then some numbers. Just some numbers, just like serial numbers and stuff. That's you you didn't really need to know any of that. You didn't need to know any of any of what I just said. The human! Here's the human. Little look here. Again. Captured quite well, got that blank expression that is so famous from the Undertale video game. And despite the, uh, you know, the small size, they've still managed to do a good job of everything. It's all very nicely painted. Um, you, you might not be able to see it yourself from the perspective. It's hard to really show the camera, but, you know, despite the fact you're not going to look under the hand, it's still all nicely painted. Really good paint job overall, actually. I'm very impressed with that. Uh, some minor blemishing on the hair, but I'm talking like super, super tiny. Barely see it. Um, and overall, yeah, yeah, decently done. Very, very nice. Smooth, not a lot of, you know, nothing, no blemishes and stuff where it matters. Um, I'm just trying to see how detailed the stick is. Not overly detailed, but it's got a nice little green leaf on it and everything. So that's good. That's an adorable little figure. We all like that. What we got next? Probably the star of the show here. Uh, the biggest figure of the lot. Needs a huge old base. Um, you can really see the, the Undertale logo there. And as a nice little treat, Papyrus written there in the Papyrus font with a whole bunch of exclamation marks. So that's a fun little goof for everybody to enjoy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I like this. This is a cool figure. Um, again, really captures the heart of the character, I think. Nice colors and everything. Um, in terms of, again, very minor blemishing, probably the most obvious, but then again, it is the largest figure, a little bit on the pant bell. A uh, little bit of joinage on the shoulder, but I'm being really, really sort of nitpicky with it. Um, you know, I'm not looking at this thinking this is terrible. I'm looking at it and thinking this is pretty good. So, can't complain too much. Cape dramatically flowing there in the wind, as, as it should for Papyrus. Good figure, I like it. I like it a lot. Pointing, pointing to himself, just, just all proud, hand on hip, dramatic pose. Glorious gesture. Good Skellington. Overall, good Skellington. Good Skellington. Probably in my top 10 Skellingtons. Maybe top 5. Um, obviously after the Jason and the Argonaut Skellingtons, which are still the best Skellingtons. And still never sure where Skeletor lies on that, because 
You can't really call it. Skele Skeletor has a skull, but a lot of blue meat. A lot of blue meat on Skeletor. That's besides the point. I'm, I'm going into things you don't need to know about again. Right. Sands. Looking underneath. Oh. Yeah, so each one, I guess, has a little bit of a different thing on the underside. Sands. Most of the space where the name would be isn't used. And you've just got Sands very tiny and nondescript in the bottom of the the space where the name is. So they've kind of made the made the naming at the bottom thematic, even though normally you got no real reason to look under there. It's a nice little touch. It's a very it's a very undertale touch, I think. And that, that's actually probably my favourite thing about the figures is the silly names that they've put on everything. Okay. Sans, another hugely popular fan favourite character of course. And again, very well represented. Kind of the only pose you could really do if you want to properly show off Sans, of course. The hands in the pockets, the grin, just chilling, just having a good old time. Just, oh, fuck me, I dropped it. Have a little look at the back as well. There we are, looking good. And that's your Sans. Nice little round skeleton fun time. Happy days. Blop! And then we finish off the collection. Uh, this is series one. There's there's another set that's being planned. Um, I know. I can't remember who's in it. Metaton. That's that's the name, isn't it? Metaton. It's been about a year since I played it. Uh, time flies. Jimquisition game of the year winner though, so you know it makes sense. Anyway, lesser dog. Here we are, lesser dog. One of the breakout characters from Undertale, because it's a dog, and it's adorable. It's got a big old sword, big old kite shield, having a good old... Is that a kite shield? I don't think it is. Is it? Or are they the smaller ones that are similar in shape? I don't know much about shields, if I'm honest, despite how long I've been playing Dark Souls for. Oh well. Anyway, another really good figure, basically. Um, big fan of it. Um, not a lot to say. Because really everything I said about the other four kind of applies to this. They captured the character well. Um, nice colours overall on all of them. And it's a dog. It's a dog. It's a dog. Cool. So those are the little buddies. Pop them on the Jimquisition lectern. I don't know if you uh, ever watched the Jimquisition. It's a good series. Not as popular as Boglin Watch. Uh, but then what is? You know, Boglin Watch is the biggest series on YouTube. Um, these arrived as well. I don't know why I ordered these. I've got a bunch of Night Vale tarot cards as well. I don't, I don't use them. Um, but these arrived, uh, I want to say like a week or two ago. I can't remember exactly when. They're Undertale tarot cards. And they're really nice from, from a design standpoint. Very nice artwork. Sa uh, Papyrus, what well, was I going to call him? Sans then. Papyrus again with the Papyrus Vault, very important. Got our Royal Guards. There we are. The Undying. The Bird That Cares. Sorry, Bird That Carries You Over a Disproportionately Small Gap. Got to read that correctly. Magma Hot Sky. Sort of all the characters represented in this. Lots of stuff. I won't go through it all. Because this is just... I just threw this in as a little side extra thing. Doggo. You know. So that's fun. Lesser Dog. There he is. Oh, how adorbs. All the stuff, Metaton. Um, fr from what I remember, the Metaton they're having in the series two of these is the original, like the, the boxy one, not the glorious, fabulous one. Probably saving that, I guess, for the future, for a future release. Metaton Neo. So there you go, basically. That's, that's some art for you. Good stuff. Undyne there. Undyne also is going to be in series two. So, depending on... And Flowey. I think Flowey's in series two as well. So that's going to be exciting. And maybe we'll do an unboxing of that. You know, unless only about 500 people watch this, then I just won't fucking bother. But, you know, if this proves to be popular or people liked it when I did it... Did you like me doing this? Was it... 
Was it worth your time? Was it? <laughs> anyway, I'm done. I'm gonna pack these cards away. Oh shit. I'm gonna pack these cards away. Sorry, this is exposing it. This was pulled from a mask, from a Halloween mask. Hence the glue on the side here. I bought a, a black vinyl face mask for the Scarecrow. The uh, Scarecrow costume on the Jimquisition. And lost it on the day of filming. So I ripped this off the back of some other cowled mask I had, just some cheapo Halloween mask, didn't need it. Uh, and draped that over my head like a cloth. And that did the trick. You, again, you don't need to know any of this information. I'm done talking about Undertale. If you're an Undertale fan and you don't know who the fuck I am, I'm wasting your time. And I'm sorry for that, but if you are an Undertale fan and just stumbled on this, watch the Jimquisition or, or Boglin watch. Either one, I don't care. Just, just validate me, please.